So we are here this morning for the fifth UCT Heads of Mission breakfast. It's an annual breakfast. We meet with Heads of Missions from all over the world. And the reason we do that is because we are a global university. What enables us to be the kind of university that we are is the partnerships and the collaborations that we have with people across the world. And so once a year we call the Heads of Mission to talk with them, appreciate the work that they're doing with us, make them aware of the opportunities that are there to collaborate with us, but also share with them our successes and, and things that we can do better. As a world leader in research, UCT collaborates with a wide network of partners from countries across the continent. And some of them, many of them are represented here this morning. We'll have three speakers who we selected very carefully. The one is uh, Professor Kopier George, and he will be talking about the work that we've been doing with the Swiss Embassy. The work that we are doing within the Innovation Hub centers firmly around the question of how can we create digital property rights? How can we create um, a foundation, an infrastructure, technologically but also economically and from a legal perspective that would support the emergence of digital property rights as a fundament on which the human right to privacy can be implemented. And then the second one is Professor Val Mizrahi, who's the director of IDM, which is really a leader in infectious diseases. And of course, we as UCT are in the top 20 when it comes to infectious diseases in the world. The message I want to convey is that one can pivot to do impactful research if you have existing capacity. And our capacity has been built on the back of infectious disease research over, I would say, at UCT over the course of the last 25 years. And then the third one is Dr. Catherine Dagen. Dr. Catherine Dagen is the director of the business school, a uh, graduate school of business at UCT. She brought a vision that focuses on Africa, doing business in, with, and for Africa. And I want to tell you about how we are building the UCT GSB, not just in Africa, not just for Africa, but as a way to educate the world about what it is that we are doing on this continent and what it is that the continent is doing, the exciting things that we see across the African continent. This event allows us to bring diplomats and others to UCT so that they can understand what it is that we're doing at UCT and that we from UCT can understand more about what's happening in their countries and how we can build bridges between the two to create better collaboration, deeper collaboration and more opportunities for impact. For UCT, this is really important in terms of both our international students, those who travel to study with us either for full degrees or for semester study abroad. And it's a space where we build partnerships like that with our fellows from other countries. But it's also a really important time to think about how we collaborate. And we collaborate in terms of teaching, as I've said, in terms of sharing expertise and in terms of the research we do. The examples we saw today of fintech, of infectious diseases, and of the business school show just how those interactions uh, help us all to be stronger together. So it's an exciting day, and I, I look forward to all the engagements, the socializing. Most of the ambassadors and high commissioners are friends. So, so it will really, really be good to see them after two years of all of us being in a lockdown, not seeing many people face to face.